Hey everybody, this is Mr. DeBound. Today I'm going to teach you about... Two chains! No, no not, not two, two chains. chains, I said food chains. Two chains! Look. Stop! Two chains. Stop saying two, two chains. chains, it's food chains! Ah. Now, when you hear me start talking about food chains, you gotta know that there's three different kinds of things in a food chain. There are producers, there are consumers, and last but not least, there are decomposers. Now today, we are going to talk about two of those groups. We are going to talk about producers, and we're going to talk about consumers. But the first one is producers. And here I am with a producer of my own. Meet my friend, Frederick. How you doing, Frederick? Well, howdy, Mr. DeMeo. How are you? Well, not bad, but I haven't seen you in a while, dude. Well, how do you expect me to come and see you, man? I'm a tree. I'm, I'm stuck in the ground. I can't even move, dude. That's... That's not funny, man. I'm sorry, Frederick. I really didn't mean anything by it. Can you tell me exactly what a producer is, though? Oh, a producer's a guy who has all the money that makes a movie. And uh, it, it was a play, I think. It had, it had Matthew Broderick, the guy from, uh, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I think. No, 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 no. Not that kind of producer. I mean, like, a producer in a food chain. Oh. Oh. Uh, a producer is a, an organism or a living thing that makes its own food, man. Come on. Oh, awesome, man. Um, can you do me a favor? Just give my class uh, some examples of some producers that you know about. Well, that's simple, man. You got, like, an apple tree. You got a, you got an orange tree. You got a, you got a bamboo. You got blueberries. You got cucumber. You got... Black seeds, you got ferns, Christmas ferns, a fever bush, you got eucalyptus, you got deadly nightshade, blue oak, bur oak, canyon live oak, champion oak, you can go to the red oak restaurant. Alright, Frederick, I think we had enough, man. Scarlet oak, scrub oak, sessile oak, Spanish oak, spotted oak. Oof, okay, let's all just agree to never talk to him again. So, for our next one, our consumer, I actually couldn't go to the place, but I do have a webcam on him now, he's streaming live. Let's go to my friend Barry the Consumer. Barry, can you hear me? Bape. I'm sorry. Barry's not home right now. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Beep. Beep beep. Barry, I'm I'm looking at you through a webcam, man. I can see you. Um, uh, beep. Uh, this, uh, this isn't Barry. This is Barry's dad. This is, this is Barry's dad, Larry. He's, he's sick. He, he had to go. Listen, Barry, I'm not going to hold you up, dude. I just have this class here, and I need to tell them what is a consumer. Oh, I would have told you, man. A consumer is a living thing, an organism, that eats other living things like plants and animals. This is because it can't make its own food, so it eats other things to get energy. Oh, wow, Barry. You ended up being pretty helpful, man. Um, Do me a favor. I have one more question. I know you're a consumer because you eat plants to get energy. And you don't make your own food. But can you think of any other types of consumers that are out there? Well, basically, anything that eats another living thing is a consumer. I can't rattle them off right now, but I'll tell you what. I got a friend here. Um, he's a producer, but he could tell you something. You want to talk to him? No, sure. Go ahead. Put him on. Hold on. I'll put him on. Well, uh, a lion is a consumer. A hyena... A pig, a sheep, a horse, an eagle. Now the next step we need to take is to talk about food chains. Now a food chain is just a diagram or a drawing that shows how energy passes from one living thing to another. Wow, are you guys looking at this food chain too? It's pretty crazy. It starts all the way with the sun and ends up with a bald eagle. 
But let's take a closer look at all the things that are going on in here. So the first thing that we noticed was that the sun was giving energy to the grass and the grasshopper was eating the grass. After that, we saw that a turtle was eating the grasshopper and then an eagle was eating the turtle. That's pretty crazy when you see how it all started with the sun and then ended up with a bald eagle. Hey, it's pretty cool, Mr. DeMeo, being at the top of the food chain. Hey. I know you like to think you're at the top of the food chain, man, but come on, think about it. The grasshopper was eaten by the turtle. The turtle was eaten by the bird. But what eats a bird? Hmm, I did have some chicken last night with some honey mustard. I guess humans are at the top of the food chain. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. You may be at the top of the food chain now, but I'm telling you, one day you're going to meet something that's bigger than you, and it's going to eat you up. You'll see. Eagle, I told you, dude. Human beings are at the top of the food chain, and there is nothing out there that is going to eat me.